Hey, Internet Harris here, and around 11 p.m. I saw that Good Notes 4 was updated, meaning Good Notes 5 was available in the App Store, and since I had my essay finished for the night, I figured it was video time. Good Notes 5 is the successor to Good Notes 4, a great but obviously not quite perfect note-taking app for iOS that I used all of high school, all of senior year of high school, uh, that's available for iOS and macOS. What's great is whatever amount you paid for version 4 of the software, you can actually apply to version 5, which is terrific to see. So my dad bought version 4 at full price, so version 5 was free for him and also for myself on the family plan. After importing all my notes from GoodNotes 4, there's a slight redesign of the home screen. For starters, it matches iOS much better as it closely resembles Apple's design language of the files application, including the sort um, and the browse. Categories, aka folders, are now visible on the home screen uh, as a folder instead of the category tab, which looks much cleaner, and you can have infinite folders for an awesome organization, and it's easier to navigate. Then there's a new search tab on the bottom that will index every piece of information in your app, including text, handwriting, uh, images, PDFs, and more, so that you can search for whatever your heart desires, which is powerful, especially if your heart desires a lot. And when you open a notebook, you see a much more pleasing, slightly more colorful design, contrast to last year's slightly grayscale design. Well, grayscale design. But I can't help but notice the similarity to Microsoft's OneNote app. Good artist copy, great artists. But you can now see a completely new toolbar in the note section itself that instead of a pop-up menu is an adapting always there type menu bar kind of like the touch bar on a mac but i don't think it's going to be quite as useless as the touch bar it will certainly allow for slightly quicker modifications though it does take up a little bit extra screen real estate something the tab view on top already did when compared to something like notability by the way if you're interested in an updated notability versus good notes 5 comparison leave a thumbs up and comment below letting me know but new is a third pen option. You still have the fountain pen, you still have the ballpoint pen, but now you have the brush pen. It varies in stroke thickness based off the stylus pressure, just like the fountain pen, and it certainly has more flow and interpretation and creativity in the stroke, and it's used for artistic means and drawing and things like that. And it works well. I don't think it needs much explanation, but it's good for doodling or getting more abstract with your drawing. And speaking of this new pen tool, if you are using an iPad with an Apple Pencil or even without, you will want to check out Paperlike. They take that reflective fingerprint prone iPad display, throws on a matte screen protector that limits the fingerprints big time, makes the writing experience so much better with your Apple Pencil, it feels a lot more like writing on paper. I'll leave a link down in the description. I have noticed a little bit of ghosting and a hair, just a tiny bit of lag with these pen options. I am very confident that they will be fixed though within an update or two, but just compared to GoodNotes 4, I noticed some slightly inferior writing with these tools, but I'm not concerned about that. There's a new highlight erase option to erase your highlighter only. Um, and then highlighter has a new draw and straight line feature that will straighten out any highlighting that it thinks you are intending to be straight. And that's always just a tap away from turning on or off, which is nice. And just like with the pen options, it's much quicker now to change between the different pen options. Shape has a new fill color option for getting more creative and custom with your shapes. And then there's a big change that you can now scroll vertically or horizontally, which is great if that's something you liked about Notability or you just ever wished you could change. Strokes don't bleed onto the next page like they do on Notability. Instead, they're clearly distinct pages that just happen to go up and down instead of side to side. So that's an awesome option and good on good notes for allowing that option if it's something you're looking for or just want to try out. And yes, you can finally rotate selections, something that was missing big time on the last update that drove me crazy. Um, and while not as fast as Notability's rotation, which you can just do with a two finger pinch, um, now if you edit this image, it will allow you to rotate and that is great. Some things are still lacking such as voice recording or pen playback, but it did add horizontal scrolling, a more colorful 2019 design, new pen option, plus advanced indexing and search iCloud support is here and a couple more features. Considering it's the same cost as GoodNotes 4 and likely a free upgrade for you, I currently see no reason to not upgrade. I'm very excited about this and again, let me know if you are interested in a full comparison to Notability 
versus good notes. Five, thank you for watching. Leave any comments down below and make sure to check out Paperlike.